politicians. Aren't they just the goofiest goobers in the whole internet, am I right? They're just so goofy, they're so quirky. And they might say a few stupid things once in a while, but it's all in the name of goofy goofiness. It's all fun. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. What did he say? Hey. They're eating the cats. And uh, I'm not here to talk about politics. Hell, hell no. I, I, don't, I don't want to talk about politics in this channel. But I will be getting into the Australian Parliament. And I know there might be a few people saying, What the frick, man? What's so special about the Australian Parliament? Well, I'll tell you what's so special about it. They got a giggity riz senator. <laughs> now, it all started with this female senator. She's 29 years old. Pretty young for a senator. And uh, she went up to the Parliament and said some awe-inspiring words for us Gen Alpha and Gen Zers. Let's hear her out. Today I rise to address an oft-forgotten segment of our society. I speak of Generation Z who will be playing a substantial role in the next election. All right, I'm gonna pause here for a second because I need to give some additional context as to what they're actually discussing in this parliament and why Gen Alpha and Gen Z were up and coming in this conversation. So there's a current party in power right now in Australia called the Labour Party, which is left-leaning, supposedly for the work class, yada, 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 and is proposing a social media ban for people under the age of 14, okay? Fatima Paiman, who is a senator, is against this proposal. She also mentions the insane cost of living crisis in Australia, which is a big A, has spoken about a few times. So she's spoken about this a few times. She's against this proposal. She, she used to be part of the Labour Party, aka the party in power. Now she's opposed to it. So she decided to speak to this in, uh, in Gen Z and Gen Alpha language. So uh, we have a hype beast millennial over here. Hell yeah, getting up to the, uh, getting up to the times. Uh, <laughs> she uploaded it to her TikTok, so you know this is good. <laughs> It is for this reason that I shall now render the remainder of my statement using language they're familiar with. To the Sigmas of Australia. Oh my gosh, she called us Sigmas! I mean, I'm not Australian or anything, but if you're from Australia, you should feel proud because your local senator just called you a Sigma Australian. <laughs> I, I like how she uses the term language, language that you guys can understand. Th this kind of makes us sound kind of stupid. I say that this goofy air government have been capping. Not just now, but for a long time. I mean, she is spitting facts. I don't know what to tell you guys. I mean, and she is kind of relatable with this political talk. It's, it's just what my government needs right now. I hear you, madam. I hear you. You know what the crazy part is, though? I, I kind of actually understand this skibbity talk. Where has brain drop taken us? A few of you may remember when they said, there'll be no phantom tax under the government I lead. <sighs> What the heck was Phantom Tax again? Wikipedia! Phantom Tax, the theft of food between friends. Ah, oh, just politicians being politicians. <laughs> They're capaholics. They're also yapaholics. Yeah, you tell them, girl. Those politicians are some yapaholics, man. They yapping, yapping every fucking day, man. Skibbity! Yes, I am turning into one of them now. I am afraid now. They yap non-stop about how their cost of living measures are changing lives for all Australians. Just put the fries in the bag, lil bro. They tell us that they're locked in on improving the housing situation in this country. They must have brain rot from watching too much Kai Sinat. <laughs> The audacity of saying brain rot. <laughs> also, I completely doubted that any of these 50, 60 year old politicians, do they even know what the fuck Kaisen that is or have even seen a stream or clip of him? But continue, Madam Senator, you are enlightening me in many different ways in the skibbity language. If that becomes law, you can forgore skull emoji all about watching Duke Dennis or catching a dub with the bros on Fort. Oh my god, I, uh, did she just say a dub with the bros on Fort? <laughs> Chat, is this Prime Minister serious? Uh, <laughs> let, let, me, let me type, madam. He's fucking senile. <laughs> Even though he's the Prime Minister of Australia, sometimes it feels like he's the CEO of Ohio. Oh, she almost, she stuttered, she, she didn't know what the state was, she was like, the, uh, the CEO of, of, um, of, what's that state again? Oh yeah, Ohio, where all, everything's like, it, it burning. <laughs> I would be taking an L if I did not mention the ops, who want to cut WA's GATS and services tax. Okay, uh, remind me what GATS is again? Wikipedia! Gen Alpha slang short for goddamn usually refers, refer, fuck me. 
refers to a curvy woman's buttocks. I guess we're cutting buttocks now. We're cutting that buttocks. Good job, opposition. Thank you for giving me a butt. <laughs> all right, all right. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the video there. I think we've had enough brain rot session for enough for this video. I mean, I had enough last video. I think I have enough now. <laughs> But she exits her speech just stating for Gen Z, Hey, Gen Z, vote! Vote, guys! You can vote! And that Gen Alpha, whenever you get the opportunity, skibbity vote! And I will give her amends because at least she didn't say skibbity. The most godforsaken word in the whole Gen Alpha language. Skibbity. Oh, god damn it!